they're promoting this godless, atheistic sort of idea and mindset amongst people, and especially Muslims. Let me explain those two connections between a burqa and LGBTQ. So you have this element that's oppressive, okay? And in the very next shot, they get liberated. How so? Way of life as Q, keeping it a hundred. You have to say it, look over here and say it, okay? Bismillah. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. You did a great intro, okay? We're gonna do this now, okay? I'm so grateful, thankful, and. <laughs> so you decided to spend some of your time here with us today. Nike has definitely crossed the line, undoubtedly. When I show you this clip right now, you're gonna feel the same. And if we don't fit the sport, We'll change the sport. Okay, and, and I actually had to ask myself, why am I upset, right? Like, it's easy for you to just get upset. But I wanted to ask myself, and I, I encourage you to ask yourself, and tell me in the comment section below so I can read and respond, and get in your head a little bit. Why are we upset at this video? Like, why, why are we upset? What's wrong with the video itself, right? Here's my thoughts on that. Here's why I feel like I am upset. Maybe your reasons for being upset are different from mine. Let's compare the ideas, but share your thoughts in the comment section below. I love reading them. I love responding to them. Let's jump into this video, okay? Here's what I'm thinking, okay? Nike understands their market, okay? It is understood amongst us that people who see the hijab, we're not talking about a burqa, we're talking about the hijab. A lot of times people see it as something oppressive. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't. These are my thoughts, not yours. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Oftentimes, people who are not Muslim see the hijab as something oppressive. I mean, to some degree that even Muslim women feel like it's oppressive and something that it was for back then that we don't have to wear even now. And so, I don't know. I don't know what's in people's minds. I don't know. Wallahi, I don't know. Okay? And they just feel like, I don't need to wear it either. It is oppressive. It's something misogynistic to that degree. Okay. Now, if you think about the idea of a burqa, Oh, that's next level. If hijab was here, if hijab was oppressive at this level, a burqa is like, I can't even, I gotta like stand. Like, bro, it's oppressive even more, right? And the person in the video is clearly wearing a burqa, but they, you know, they're, they're riding a skateboard, okay? Now, there's a lot of symbolism over here. And I want you to think about this from this perspective, okay? Skateboarders are known to be rebels. People who skateboard are known to be rebels, punks, okay? Uh, you, you've, you've heard the song Kick Push from Lupe Fiasco. Come on, you know the struggles of a skateboarder. Okay, they're known to be radicals, right? They, they say, no skating in the park. They're going to do it anyways, right? Don't skate in this area. I'm going to do it anyways. Why? Because that's what the skateboard culture is. They do what they're not supposed to be doing all for the sake of skateboarding, okay? Now, the message in itself, like, hey, if they don't, I don't know what it was. It was like, hey, if it doesn't do it, we're going to change the sport or we're going to change it to make it happen, right? So it's, it's very, this idea that there's a dogma behind why a person's even wearing something, okay? There's a dogmatic reason for why a person's wearing something. And if it doesn't fit, if my beliefs doesn't fit into my dogma, I'll change it. Do you see where I'm coming from right now? That's why when I'm saying that Nike has crossed the line on this one, that's what I mean personally, that they've really crossing the line because they're promoting this godless, atheistic sort of idea and mindset amongst people, and especially Muslims. Muslims are one of their top consumers. But hey, you know what? We're the ones, our Muslim brothers from Uyghur, Chinese, our, our Chinese brothers, our Uyghur brothers and sisters, guess what they're doing? They're working in their sweatshops. So hey, why not, huh? It's crazy. Okay, so you have this element that's oppressive, okay? And in the very next shot, they get liberated. How so? Well, the burqa comes off, right? It's a dude, that's, ir that's irrelevant, right? But the burqa came off, okay? The liberation took place, okay? And then the person who's doing it is holding an LGBTQ flag smoke thingamajig. Because that is liberation. And let me explain those two connection between a burqa and LGBTQ. Okay? It's like a burqa, it's almost like a person's in the closet. Do you see the symbolism? Do you understand what I'm saying? 
because the person underneath it might not want to be wearing it, but they have to wear it because of their culture or whatever that they have to follow. But they're trying to break free from that. They're trying to change it if it doesn't fit them. Okay? So the same way that a person is wearing a burqa, right? It's like the person's inside the closet there. And then the person who is gay, they're in the closet. And they want to come out the closet. The same way a person wants to come off with the hijab, come off with the burqa. But it's interesting that the only way that you can respect my ideology is if you change my ideolo uh, ideology. Isn't that such a colonial way of thinking? That we'll let you believe what you want to believe as soon as we're done telling you what you should believe in. Doesn't that, doesn't that make sense? This is exactly what people did to the Native Americans. Exactly. They came over here. The white Europeans came to this country, saw that other people were living here because they were stronger, because uh, they were better, they had more machinery, more weapons, because they had, had more privilege than the other people, they were able to take over the land. It's as simple as that. But the Native Americans had culture, they had their own religion, they had their own values, but guess what? It didn't make sense to the white Europeans, hence, they colonized the area, gave them smallpox, and now we celebrate on Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble, all right? So, you want me to be liberated after you tell me what's liberation. Do you see the problem? Do you see the conflict of interest? The only way that you will truly be liberated is if I tell you what's liberation. Look what's happening in France. Why is it in France that women are having troubles wearing their, their hijab and niqab is fully banned? Why is that? Why, why is that okay? Right? Why is that? Why is that okay? Yet someone such as myself will still buy a Louis Vuitton, which is made in France. Okay? And I, I, I'm throwing myself under the bus on this one. I, I genuinely am. I'm throwing myself under the bus on this one because I know where my money is going. It's supporting government that is oppressing me. Might not be me physically, but it's my brothers and sisters that get oppressed. What's happening in Belgium right now, right? Where there's a hijab ban taking place. Look it up. Look it up. Why? Because our voices have silenced. Our brothers' pains, our brothers' and sisters' pains no longer impact us. It's their problem. It's their problem because we are no longer one body. Where one hurts, we all hurt. We're no longer one body and that's the reality. Let's not confuse it. That is the reality of our situation. Why has Nike crossed the line with this one? Because they're, tell they're telling us what liberation means. I would argue that the one who made you and I has the right to tell us what liberation is. But they're trying to push your, their agenda onto us. And that is problematic. The only way that we will be accepted in society, Muslims, the only way Muslims will be accepted in society is if we submit to their values, their religion, instead of the deen of Allah. That's the facts. That's true, you're being a little more emotional because you have a thobe on today. I'm just wearing a thobe because nothing else was available, all right? I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, the only way that they will accept us is if we change for them. Why is it, I'm going to give you three examples right now, why is it that the only time there is a lead starring Muslim uh, drama, movie, whatever on Hulu, or excuse me, Apple, uh, Apple Plus or Apple Movies or Apple whatever, is the girl named Hala, and her story is about what? What is the story about? Liberation. Freeing herself from the hijab. Why is that the movie? Let's look at Rami on Hulu. Why is the only time there's a male Muslim lead or a show about Islam, it's to showcase the failures of Muslims, specifically the crisis of faith for Muslims. Why is that? Is that what's supposed to show me that, oh, we can empathize with the character, a non-Muslim can empathize with our character, but they can't empathize with the fact that a Muslim could have grown up in a single-parent household, that a Muslim had, you know, grew up in a one-bedroom apartment. You can't empathize with that. You can't empathize with the fact that a Muslim perhaps went from rags to riches. You're telling me that no one can empathize with that because it's Muslim? But if you show me that I'm having a crisis of faith like Hala has or Rami is having, that's when I can empathize? Why do you think they're doing this, guys? They're weakening our faith. They're showing you that, ah, these Muslims are not as strong as they used to be. Muslims used to be solid. Muslims are no longer solid.
And by the way, this isn't today. This has been happening from the time from way back when. When, when, when Muslims in, like conquered lands, when they saw how strict the Muslims were, they said that these people are undefeatable. <coughs> <coughs> corona. Man, you got to be careful when you cough. People are going to think you have corona. My throat got dry. Sorry, guys. <coughs> no cuts. All right. But guess what? They knew that the number one way to defeat the Muslims is remove them further away from their salah. Get them further away from their salah. Because if they started missing their salah, which is the most disciplined thing for you to do, then you might start missing lowering your gaze. Then you might start missing lying and telling the truth. It's all a part of the plot to destroy humanity. And specifically the Muslims. Why? Because Muslims are the medicine for the world. Muslims are the cure for the world. And anyone who's a Muslim gets me. Anyone who's not Muslim, they're going to be like, ask you, ah, uh, Jesus is the truth, the life, the way. I don't know. Muslims, Islam is the cure for the world. Allah has sent us to this planet, placed us in our lands, not just Muslim lands, non-Muslim lands, because Islam has something that can heal the world, heal your and my communities. But if we're not taking the medicines ourselves, how can we expect someone else to do it? That's hypocritical. So let's weaken the Muslim. Let's weaken them. Let's change their dogma. Let's, let's make them feel inferior. Let's make them feel inferior. So they're always chasing us. So they're always chasing, you know, what, 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 what's cool. The Messenger Salaam said that he, we will, Muslims, will follow hand span by hand span of those from before generations, Jews, Christians, to the extent that if we saw them put their hands in a scorpion hole, we'll do the same thing. Why? FOMO. The Messenger Salaam is telling us, FOMO, fear of missing out. The Messenger Salaam knew that Muslims today, in this day and age, will have FOMO, the fear of missing out. I wanted to go to Vegas because, you know, that's the place to be. Oh, Vegas, woo! It's not Tuesdays, let me drink something. FOMO. I want to go to these places. FOMO. Why? You feel like you're missing out. You have an inferiority complex. You have an inferiority complex. And that's what we need to change. So look, Nike, chill out. Chill out with this. Result. Why can't you promote Islam in a positive way? Why can't you promote it in a more positive way? And why aren't you asking practicing Muslims if that commercial is okay? What makes you think that you have the voice for the Muslims? What makes you think that you can tell what a Muslim should or shouldn't do? Where's your team? Where's the people that you've consulted with? But you know me and you, we're just going to give our hard-earned money to Nike in those sweatshops where they're pimping out our Uyghur brothers and sisters. That's me. I'm doing that too. Man, there's some things that need to change. So look, the reason I'm appalled, and I want to know in the comment section about why you're appalled, is because... The hijab, the burqa is looked at something oppressive. And then when you switch to LGBTQ, it's just like you, you've released yourself. You've released yourself. And I don't know if they're promoting that Muslims should support, 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 <laughs> support LGBTQ rights. I support the rights of anyone who deserves rights to be supported of, period. Don't try to label or box me in. If I saw someone who was gay, who was getting beat up because he's gay, I would stop in to defend them. As to, are you an LGBTQ rights supporter? No. I'm supporting Nas, humanity, insan. I'm supporting humans. The shaitan is the open enemy for humans. Humans, not Muslims. Humans. The shaitan distracts the Muslims because we have the cure for the humans. Okay? So when you see a human being hurt, understand that that human is the creation of Allah Azza wa Jal. You should feel bad. You should feel sad that a human, a fellow human of yours is suffering. The shaitan does not discriminate. The shaitan does not discriminate. He wants to drag humans to hell. The son of Adam, we are all the children of 
Adam, he hates us. He wants to destroy humanity. Get this through your heads. Stop trying to separate yourself, let alone from the Muslims and, you know, who's this, who's that sect, let alone that. But from other human beings, Allah Azza wa Jal placed us over here so we can help humanity. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say it with me, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say it, feel it, was sent for humanity. Humanity. They need us. We should feel bad for people because we have something to offer them. But they're choosing to be sick because we're not taking the medicines ourselves. And we're just like, ah, kufar. Oh, that's a kufar. Let me leave him alone. Please. Allah's going to question you and I about this. That you had the medicine, SQ. You had the medicine, SQ. Did you give it to someone else? Or did you keep it to yourself? Ah, ah, right, ah. Allah placed us over here to help humanity. Placed us. Anyways, getting back to this, guys. Um, drop your thoughts in the comment section below about what you think happened with Nike. I believe they crossed the line. Do you feel like they crossed the line? Tell me in the comment section below. You know that's my favorite part of being a YouTuber is reading your comments. Someone said, SQ, we're on the road to 100K. Oh, my God. If you blow up, hope you still respond to comments. Hell, yeah, I'm going to respond to comments. Why? Because it's my job. It's my job. It's my favorite part of my job. I love getting, I love getting comments from you guys because it's my favorite part of the job. Reading your comments, it's just like, wow, this person stopped for like 17 and a half seconds to write me? Humbled. And then there's some of you who write paragraphs. I'm humbled. I respond. I love you all, all, all for the sake of Allah. If by some miracle you made it to the end of this video and you have not subscribed, you know what? Keep it that way. That's not no reverse psychology. Keep it that way. It's cool. As long as you tune in for the next video as well. Uh, if you are new to this channel and you want to spend a little bit more time with your boy, your boy, click any of these videos right here. One of them is best review or one is my recent video. And uh, until next time, I'm out. You're out. We're all out. I just hit my daughter. We're out of here.